Welcome back to System Shock, friends. This is Blondie speaking. I hope you're having a fantastic time, day, evening, night, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Obviously listening or watching this, I do appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get back into this episode. This episode, we have a mission to... Where are we? We need to get to Dr. Watts' room to find a keycard for the crew sector. That is where we're up to, and we still have a little bit of this area here to explore, so let's do that right now. Just before we head off, there was one thing I didn't explain about these terminals. These are operating system terminals, OS upgrade terminals, and they basically give you a one-time perk that stays with you for the rest of the game. So if we... I don't think I can... yeah. I've already interacted with this. There are four of these in total throughout the entire game, so they are quite rare, but the perks that they give you, because they last forever, are quite powerful. If you remember the perk that we chose... Where can I find that in my gear? Where can I find that? Where can I find that? Where are you? I'm not actually sure where I find that. It's got to be here somewhere. Damn it. I know it's got to be here somewhere. Never mind. Oops. I keep doing that. Let's move on. Okay, so last episode, we got ourselves an OS upgrade, we got as far as here, we're going to continue on trying to find this keycard. Security forces have been alerted to your presence, intruder. Oh dear. The glory of the many demands your capture or destruction. Xerxes would like me captured or destroyed. There may be something cruising around down here. Actually, before I forget, there was a section that we didn't fully explore up here. I want to do that before we head down, because another hybrid usually does like coming in here, camping out. He patrols between here and the next section, and we won't be coming back this way, so let's do this little bit of exploration now while we're here. This is the stuff I'm missing. There we go. Oh, look at that. Another log. Shocking. up a transmission from the surface of Tau City 5. I've been in negotiation with Captain Diego of the Rickenbacker and after some coercion, he's agreed to go planet side as a joint venture. Imagine, this historic mission might even become more historic. First contact. And who is there to get exclusive rights to all media, patents and land grants? Try optimum. Miri, I told you this would be worth it. Korenchkin and Diego are people to look out for in this game. They appear quite a few times. Korenchkin is um, an antagonist of sorts. We will meet him at some point in the future. Okay, we've got one outside. We're going to let this guy come into us. The many sings to us. He's probably going to come up along the top here. Oh. All you have to do is get behind these guys and they are puppy dogs. That's basically it. Ooh, okay, so I'll take those. Frag grenades are really good. They're good for this run in particular. The other grenades, not so much. Now there is something in here. There's a security blocker in here. If we could actually hack... So only a hack skill one required. We could actually hack our way through this barrier here and get in, but we don't have hacking skill. That would be another run. All right, we've got a security camera coming up here. So I can hear it. There it is. Cheeky little blighters. I hear another many. Just wait for it to reset. Makes its little chirping noise. There it is. Security cameras you definitely want to take care of. They are Shodans or Xerxes and or Shodans eyes and ears. Not really spoiling anything when I say that, am I? Faces on the damn box art. Okay. We got a weapon. Oh, wow, I've never seen that happen before. 
Is there like a seam on this thing? That's why I clipped through it. That's weird. All right, yeah, we got to go down here. He looks like he's got a shotgun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does actually. Now let him come up to us. We can afford to eat a shot or two. That's fine. a little bit dicky sometimes if you manage to catch them between portals here that I've noticed that the damage doesn't quite register properly try and draw them into a room proper make sure that you're dealing proper damage to them I'm not going to be able to pick up anything else now there are worms here and you can, you can do stuff with worms but not right now alright a drink there I'll take that uh, what else have we got here a lot of pot of plants okay this is what we were after. The pistol over here. I could use side pull to get that. But what I can do... Even better. When it lets me... Yeah, there is. There's a seam there. I can see it. Can I... It's going to let me... Hop. There we go. I can just reach it from here. Unload the ammo and get rid of it. Come on. There we go. This is Xerxes. That Remember, would probably trigger restrictions are in place for the good of all of us. All unauthorized database interactions will be dealt with to the utmost degree of the law. Okay, no one coming just yet, but someone definitely will. Maybe you can see there's an item up there. It's a bunch of nanites. I could use side pull on that, but I can also, alternatively, hit that with cryokinesis. Just a regular shot, oh, and it knocks it off. There are usually more than one solution to any given problem. We're not going to go in there just yet. I want to go and check some of this other area out first. There's quite loud splashing around in the water here. So many plants. Got another log. Come on, hop. There we go. These pictures are cool. You can like cycle between different pictures, which actually becomes part of a mechanic later in the game. Part of a puzzle. Wow, you're incredible. Do you know that? I made this game where I tried not to make myself think about you. What a moron. I love you, Rebecca, and I've got the plan. I've been buttering up the captain to transfer me from the Rick and Parker to the Goodwill team on the Vampron. Pretty soon nothing will keep us apart. This love story kind of plays out over the course of the game, and you even get to see them, no spoilers, a little bit later. I say, I say see them, air quotes. Um, but it is cool that it also ties into the ending as well. The little love arc. Alright, we got another one, I think. Marie, I'm sorry I've been out of touch, but I've been working on that artifact Bayless brought back from Tau City 5. I've done a level 3 analysis on it. I think it's some kind of artificial intelligence. I've managed to pull an audio tag file out of its memory. I'll let you be the judge. No guesses for who that was, of course. Okay, we got a couple of brawn boosts here. This would normally be the first place that we get our hands on a brawn boost. Remember, this one came from the locker from um, episode one, which I shouldn't really know the code to. I could actually just... You know what? Pretend that never happened. There are a couple of other things too, but they're really inconsequential. I could get... Here's about 10 or so nanites for recycling this, so I'm going to drop it. We'll pretend that I never got it. This is my first brawn boost. But this is what an implant looks like. Implants are powered. Um, the power runs out over time once they're equipped. And equipping this will increase my strength stat, which will also unlock one of these columns here. Like so. I keep pressing X because I'm playing another game that cancels menus with X. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Dredge is the game, by the way. Playing Dredge, which is a lot of fun. All right, we got a monkey after us. There he is. 
really not a fan of monkeys. Could actually cry, can he assist this guy? Gotcha. I don't think there are any more coming after us. Uh, we can also turn on the light here. There we go. Actually, see what we're doing. This is a spot worth coming, because there is a place upstairs which has, if you're a weapon user, which has a decent weapon. Oh, I didn't quite make that. This is, this is maybe the one area that I would consider using side pull, because getting to that's kind of annoying. Okay. So here we have a shotgun from memory, and we've got some cyber modules, which is really important. But the shotgun is in pretty good condition, I think. Yeah, fair. Which this early on is not bad at all. But it's not something we can use for this run, so... Okay, we've searched everything else, so we just need to go into Mr. Watts' room. Watts isn't here, so he's probably in his office in the R&D center. Maybe he's got a backup R&D okay, card in here. There. Take a look around. I've noticed it does that sometimes. My mouse just does Good a complete work. 180. Here are some more cyber modules. Spend them wisely. They're not easy to locate. All right, we've got 10 cyber modules. Hmm. Uno momento. You'll see a cut in the footage because I need to bring up my spreadsheet for my uh, ability tracking. Two seconds. All right. So the next unlock is a little while away. Going to need 40 cyber modules to get our next upgrade. Sorry, 41. Which is the T3, tier 3 of um, the Psy abilities. Alright, we've got what we came for and we've looted this place, so let's get the hell out of here. There is one more place I could go. Just hope that no one is here. Nope, there is someone here. Can I back up? We can just nope out of here. He won't follow us. I've also bumped up the music a little bit. The music would... Oh. Hi, friend. And we got some nanites for our trouble. That's good. Okay, we need to get to the crew quarters. That's definitely not that way. I'm gonna drop off all of the stuff that we've got first before we do anything else. Now, there could be a hybrid that's respawned over here. Worth checking. I I can take him out if he's around. Nope. Okay. Okay. Let's drop off all of the crap we don't need. Uh, so all of the stuff that's going into this pile will be recycled. It's going into the recycler. Which is coming up later on. Each of these will give, you, give me one nanite. Grenades, I think maybe two by default, two per grenade. Um, but these ones are special. The ammo that I've collected here and frag grenades in particular are special, which is why I'm keeping them. I'm separating them. There we go. All right, cool. We also have mutant parts over here, and I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep some of the collectibles that I really want with me over there. Yeah. That should be fine. We got six Psy Hypos, which is actually pretty good. Not bad at all. Alright, we need to get to... Hop. We need to get to R&D. And one thing I haven't brought up yet is... Someone's cruising around. Gonna... Yeah, he's in there. Oh, great. We did... Got another guy there. He's suspicious. I'm just gonna pop here. All right, map is up. M for map. Someone is coming. Come to us. Come to us. No, 
Oh, you first. We're going to R&D, so we actually need to head down this corridor. And up. I think he's moved up. Nope. Come on. He blocked my path. That was annoying. I could try and take this guy out too. See if he's got anything on him. And of course he had nothing. Loot on enemies isn't very generous. That's why it's not always economical to just take them on. Foolishly. Okay. Did take a hit or two there, but that's fine. Alright, this is where we need to be. R&D. We've got our card. Let's do this. You have not disappointed me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. I would... Ooh, I would hate to disappoint you, Polito. Bye-bye. Okay. Pretty sure I don't need to sneak around this area, but... This is a dead end. This will scare the crap out of you the first time you see it, though. He can't shoot through here. And a bit of a shame, you can come in here, but there's nothing in here. Maybe there is on easy, but on the harder difficulties, there's nothing. Dr. Watts is alive and in his office. He should know the code to the maintenance access shaft. Hurry! He's been badly wounded. Don't let him die before he tells you that number. And yes, you do actually reach him before he dies. Now, what the hell could make a mark like this? Intriguing. This is creepy. The way she falls as a ghost is weird because of the way she's positioned, the body's position. And then you've got this guy who is missing something important. Okay, we've got nothing in there. Nothing in there either. Alright, we have a recharge station coming up here, which will be handy. Disposable maintenance tool. These are worthless to us on this run. Pretty handy for um, weapon runs and other things like that, but yeah, in terms of what we do, completely useless. Alright. So these are the recharge stations. You would have seen one of these early on in episode one where I had to recharge a battery in order to get out of a certain section. They will also recharge everything that you've got in your inventory and equipped, including my brawn boost implant. So, and you'll never spend any charges using the recharge station. It will always be um, fully available for you to come back and recharge anytime you like. So don't feel coy about coming back and using it as often as you need to. Why is my mouse doing that? Stop it. Only with this game. Strange. Anatoly, there's only so much corporate calisthenics I can go through before Absolutely. I start to feel a little queasy. So let's get down to brass tacks here. We don't like each other. We each have our own motivations for undertaking this mission. So let me give you a little warning. I cannot be circumvented. I cannot be tricked. I cannot be manipulated. And I cannot be bought. You come at me straight and keep the fancy maneuvers for your next board meeting. Just because my father swam with the sharks doesn't mean that I God, I love Stephen Russell. That gravelly voice is iconic. I will always hear Garrett when I hear that voice. Are you sure you can't get up there? Just a cool environmental detail. Okay, here we are. In Dr. Watts' room. And we have a guy down there. One of our hybrid friends. Are we joining? We are. We are. We are. Let's say hi. There we go. Okay, before we talk to Dr. Watts, let's 
loot some of this gear. Okay, here he is. They're not dead. They want you. You I promised you he'd be alive. They want you as a host. Get away. They want me, apparently. Okay, conveniently there is a bed here which we can use to heal ourselves. We will need it. Silence the Discord. Silence the Discord. This is gonna hurt. That was that was something else. Let's see if we can draw one of these guys down. You do not hide. I don't need to hide forever. We seek. We seek. That was close. Would have been safer to just snipe at them from down there. Absolutely. But I know that I have enough meds to wear it all, so not a big deal. Alright, pretty sure there should be nothing here. I'm gonna go downstairs and recharge again though. Oh, we do have some logs as well. One, two, four, five, one. Which we now have logged against our notes. What we need to do. We've got one more log. Let's have a look. The time is 16.30. Autopsy subject A. Watson. Now we're going to make the first incision in... Hold him down. I'm yes. trying to... I'm trying to... <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Hybrids have a couple of attacks. They can be very quick. Doesn't happen often, but it happens often enough. Their quick attacks can be super annoying. Alright. Now we will encounter... There we go. This guy's free now. We're not going to take him out. Not yet, at least. Come on, friend. Down this way. Hey, 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 hey. That's enough of that. Gonna try and draw him in. Need to be fairly quicker, otherwise he's gonna lose interest. Alright, that should be enough for him to come through here. Just need him to walk through that door. Keep going, friend. I don't want him to zap me in the back, it's not going to be good. Window. Oh great, he's moving away. Hey! And he's stuck. That's even worse. That's not good. This is pretty much the only way... Yeah, it's the only way out. Come on, man. Please. I wonder if I can entice him in through here. Yeah, I know you see me.
Hopefully this is now enough. You are being a pain in the bum. Come this way. Ow. Clown. Hello. Hello. Super annoying that we have to draw him in this way. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, what was the code? 12451. Alright. Just need that open. I'm going to drop off whatever we need to drop off here. Come on, just drop it. Drop it! Sweet. Now we can get out of here. This so that he can't accidentally come onto this platform. Do not waste time patting yourself on the back. Get down to that shaft to engineering and reset the primary reactor core. She really is friendly. Power to the elevator and you'll be able to get up to deck four. Get going. Groovy. Okay, I can hear another hybrid prowling around out there. So I'm pretty sure there's nothing here that I need to look for. Alright, let's get down. Okay, this level of the ship is probably my least favorite. It's good, but it's bad. You're now on the engineering deck. Find the engine core and reset it. This will restore power to the elevators. I'm getting some kind of strange readings from down there, so keep your eyes open. Okie dokie. Thank you, Polito. Oh, we've got some emails here. Do we have any remaining logs on deck two? No, we didn't. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we have to reset the main power at the engine core. This is kind of a long and involved section of the main storyline. And it's not that that I dislike so much. There is a bit of backwards and forwards, which is a little bit painful. But the real pain comes from respawning enemies. There are sections in this area not this particular map, but a little further on, there are sections where enemies will respawn constantly. Basic, basically non-stop. As soon as you kill one, more will come. And it's just a pain in the bum. It's really bad. Alright, no reason not to pop a sigh. Hypo. This part's also fun. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need to. Yes, there is radiation in this game. The coolant tubes Your of the flash oh boy. will well to avoid possible <laughs> Yeah. Alright, reason I came down here is for the cyber modules. And the cigarettes, of course. Okay. Can't get in here. The radiation must have locked the protective seals on engine core access. You're going to have to find some way to purge the radiation from the coolant tubes. Xerxes is blocking me out of the primary data loop, so I can't get any information to help you. He's working for them now. Keep your eyes open. You must find a way to purge these coolant tubes and get into the engine core. The ship must have some kind of backup system in place for just this kind of situation. Do you have a red hypo? I'm so sick. Reds in this game disappear over time. You probably notice I didn't have to do anything for radiation to disappear. See, there's a bar on the bottom left. You take a little bit of damage as it goes down, but it's not too bad. As long as you don't get it too high, then it, it's tolerable. Is that? It is, okay. All right, we've got more cyber modules from this guy. He's got some ammo in his gun. There are hybrids that prowl this area. Keep an eye out on these ledges, just at eye level here. You'll quite often find items in this section of the tunnels. You must move faster. 
Your mind cannot conceive of the stakes we are dealing with. Keep your eyes open for utility storage 4. I've laid in some supplies there. The passcode is 59004. Got to get to death. The many demands the termination of this exchange. We regret any inconvenience. So much. Oh, well. That was lucky. They normally go in the other direction. Not sure why they decided to come back this way. Hello, friends. More cyber modules. We will check out that room in a second. There is a log here. These guys will respawn. That can happen pretty quick too. That's the chemical storehouse. We can't actually get to this just yet. The storehouse that um, Polito was referring to is a little further along the halls. Okay, let's grab that. Just along this eye, eye line here. Okay, we've got another log. Sure, let's play a log. It's down to just a few of us now. Right after Valdez died, I, I guess I went a little nuts and started tearing things apart. But what do you know, I, I found two more rad hypes. Hopefully that'll keep me going long enough to figure a way past that damn turret. Who is that? Delacroix? Sanger? Yeah, one of the things I like doing and I forgot to do, this is usually a good spot to do it because it is confusing in these hallways, is to turn on the minimap. And you're probably wondering why I'm running sideways. That's a nice little trick of the dark engine. Another holdover from Thief. If you run forward and sidestep at the same time at a roughly a 45 degree angle, you'll go faster. Whoa! Feel free. Silence the Discord. Yeah. Beat. Fried. Should that be the name of the thumbnail? I think it should be. This episode, Baked Not Fried. Looks heavy. We'll play more logs in a tick. I just want to open this up first. Uh, take a little bit too much damage. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. The hell? 59004. Okay. Now listen carefully. The xenomorphs who have hijacked this ship are presumably from the surface of Tau City 5. They've been able to infect a number of crew members through an extremely invasive parasitical technique. They've also demonstrated the ability to control the actions of others through some form of limited telepathy. Find the research soft, understand them, uh -oh. then kill them. <laughs> You can see that he wasn't damaged as I stepped through that portal. Oh crap, that's right. There is a camera there. Is your vision so small that you cannot see the value of our world? So much going on at once. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's see if we can get this monkey. No, we cannot. It takes two blasts, two cryo blasts to kill the monkey, so there's no point charging the second one. The first one is enough. If you're wondering what happened up there with the robot, why it exploded and why I took no damage, it was actually a quirk of um, localized pyrokinesis. It will protect you from explosive damage from those, only those, creatures. If you destroy a robot in front of you, and it explodes, um, that it won't protect you. It won't protect you from that. Let's, uh, let's read some logs. Before I couldn't get rid of those jarheads from the Rickenbacker. Now I can't find one for love or money. That creepy OSA guy followed me around for two months until he got the hint. 
Now I tried to contact him to see if he knew what was going on, but all of a sudden, he won't return my mail. Okay, all the stuff I don't need is going down here. Cool. Okay, the reason it's going down here is the elevator is right here. This takes us back up to level 1 and all of the other decks as well. And you can actually use the elevator um, kind of as like a storage cabinet. <laughs> because it persists. All of the items that in the game persist over time. So no matter where you are, no matter what you do, if you come back to an area, you left some items there, they'll still be there. Uh, and that includes... The lift itself is actually a persistent area across all of the decks, except the very upper deck, the command deck, I think it is. Because um, it takes a different elevator. But the elevator, you can store all of your items in the elevator, and they will follow you to every single... almost every single level um, of the Von Braun. Now... Hi there. This... Please make your selection. This is the replicator I'm interested in. It also has a Psy Hypo here in its list, but we can hack this and it will massively reduce the cost of Psy Hypos. So that is my next objective. On top of the main objectives, of course. Speaking of which, we have everything we need from this area, so let's mosey on. There is a cutscene coming up. We are. Kill me! I don't know if you heard the hybrid there where he said kill me. It's actually a creepy holdover from um, what these people, what these things actually are. They are former crewmates that we are killing mercilessly. Who have been transformed by these strange parasitic worms that we've been hearing all about in the logs. Not cool, man. Yeah, pretty nasty stuff. Is due to the recent confusion, there will be a ship-wide census tomorrow at 0900. While we wait for that, there are a couple of points throughout the game where Xerxes does these strange announcements, and I think, I believe that they are placed in such a way to scare the crap out of you when you're sneaking through some areas, because they come on at these really inopportune moments, just when you're sort of trying to be stealthy and careful and and cautious. Okay. This area we can't go down to just yet, but we will once the power is back on. Alright, let's head in. Grab those, we're going to head upstairs. That's right, we have more logs. Let's bust out one of these logs. Anatoly, you must open up the planet to the scientific staff of this vessel. If there is something down there, it's bigger than Triop, it's bigger than the UNN, and it's bigger than you. And why have you and Diego shut off Deck 3? What's going on? They don't actually see me. Look at this guy. You do not hide forever. That's a shotgunner too. Shotgunners are only more dangerous because they have a little bit more health and they're ranged. He will disappear after a while. No yeah. longer one of us. No longer one of us, indeed. We still have more logs to go through. Not sure what secrets you and your new buddy Captain Diego have got going up on deck three. Can wait for this guy to come back. Out. If you continue to refuse to meet with me and my staff, you will leave me no choice but to register a complaint with corporate. If you want to take me seriously, perhaps Sergeant Bronson and her security staff will. I like Delacroix as a character. I think she's really cool. She's the only one who's got her shit together. Right. The ship was not ready for prime time. Okay. The automatic safety seals have shut due to the radiation leak in the tubes. I'm going to the engineering control. I think I can use the fluidics monitoring computer to purge the tubes. This is why I don't like this area. But it gets better. There's a turret just here. 
we have to destroy it, really. Unless we want to take damage going through. Not worth leaving this at my back. I think I hear something. Nope, I did not. Alright, we got more Psy Hypo, which is nice. This part I don't like. This part you kind of need to be quick about too. I'll try and get over here. I need to take this turret out in front though. As you can see, it takes a fair bit, and I need to take that out as well. Alright, the reason, we're going to get company very soon. Coming into this room spawns a couple of hybrids, which will come back this way. I can, I may be able to beat them off at the pass here. Beat them off, that's not really what I meant. You know what I meant. Maybe I get lucky. You'll be able to hear it because the the doors, the doors, well, you hear the doors opening on the other side there. Okay, there's another turret just there. Alright, thank god they're taken care of. Oh, there we go. Got a key card, which we need. It's for the security sector here. Now going in here would definitely trigger a spawn. Okay, I can already hear someone. Yeah, I can already hear someone out there. So there's another set of light armor here. There are a couple of panels here that we can get stuff from. Cyber modules. There are a couple of upgrade panels in here too. If we manage to get all of our 41 cyber modules on our way through, which I think we can. I think it is possible on the way back we might be able to grab the T3, unlock the T3 um, tier of cyber powers. That we're going to take as well because it can be researched and it is helpful. I'll show you what that is. This here. We can't. Oh, they're coming. We can't research it currently, because we need a research skill of one. There is a plan to do that, don't you worry. No, we don't have to purchase the research skill. There are other ways around this. I can hear them outside there. He'll be right there. There it is. Where are you? Friend? I'm gonna say, if we get lucky... If we get lucky, he's gonna go back in through that door, and I'm not gonna have to worry about fighting him. He's coming back. You can see that trying to close the distance with these guys creates some real problems. And if they continue to circle you, that can be enough. That can be nasty. Can be quite rough. All right, before we go any further, we need to be quick about this. They will respawn. All right. Brilliant. Really not a fan of that section at all. Okay, we've got another brawn boost. This one has run out of juice, so I'm going to swap them out. Okay, here's the cutscene. Do you not trust the feelings of the flesh? Our biology yearns to join with yours. We welcome you to our man. But you puzzle us. 
Why do you serve our mother? How can you choose cold metal for the splendor of flesh? But you fear us. We hear your thoughts, and they rage for your brothers you believe dead. But they are not. They sing in our symphony of life. We offer another chance to join us. If you choose to lie down with the machine, we will rend you apart and put you separate from the joy of the night. Call me crazy, but I think I'll stick with being an individual rather than going for the big flesh orgy you've got going on there. Thank you, though, for your concern. Uh, I don't need that. That's a problem. Why is there a monkey there? Strange. Not normally a monkey here. There aren't no need to take out that camera. And I think I might need a healing hypo here. Alright, this part I really hate. This part is not fun. I expected that to blow up on the first hit. Okay. If you get too close to those when they explode, uh, they do... a lot of radiation damage. You instantly get infected quite high. Alright, before... I'm just wondering if we should... Yes, we will absolutely do this. Come on, friend. Alright. Let's open this up. And set up the chain reaction of all of this. Oh, crap. Not what I needed. Alright, all of the explosives took care of that one. Alright, let's let this guy come up. With pleasure. Take care of this monkey. God oh, damn. That area can be an absolute... Whoops. I did not mean to do that. That area can be a cluster. And that's right. There is a guy down here. I think we'll just take this guy out regularly. Not a sharp tool, that one. Man, we have a lot of logs. Okay, let's let some logs play, shall we? these logs more. I'm not sure what's creeping me out worse. The hybrids with their pipes and shotguns? The berserk turrets are our supposed allies. I don't trust those UNM bastards. I've got to find Sanger. She knows the access code to Floyd's control. I'm gonna make my way over to Cargo Bay 2 to find her. Fluidix control is somewhere we need to be. Okay, these are all good things. Well worth the cost. 
Now we are at full health, so there's no point. This is a food item. These two are food items, obviously. But we don't need them just yet. Now, the reason I'm doing this now, we don't need to be here right now, but I'm clearing this area here. Just going to make it a little bit easier later on. But it is. We Come on. We can't go too far out because there is a camera just outside. Come on, my boo. Come on. Nah, he's going to make us work for it. You cheeky, freaky son of a. I'm trying. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Who, boy. All right, that's our restore point. This becomes important a bit later on. This is why we need to come back here at some point, but that is a little ways off. That belongs to someone else. Does it belong to you? Yep, probably does. Looks like it fits. And there are a couple more upgrade spots here. We shouldn't be needing those. Due to the tenuous situation as of late, I've ordered security defense turrets placed at key locations. Yesterday one went off accidentally and critically injured Crewman Wells. However, somebody must have tampered with the Xerxes security subsystems, because now my technicians are unable to take them offline. Until we get to the bottom of this, I've ordered all security turrets recalled to storage. But now I can't get in touch with the team I sent out to do the recall. Okay. They aren't making this easy for us, are they? I miss you. I know it's stupid, but I do. I think I'll wallow in self-pity for an hour or so, and then write you again. Figures. I have to travel 67 trillion miles to meet a man. Once you're transferred to the Von Braun, everything will be better. I'll be better. I promise. Great. Someone's coming. Counting the seconds. We've got a couple more logs to get through. Stay where you are, Beck. I mean it. This isn't something you can fight. This isn't something you can run from. If you love me, you won't come looking for me. Just hang tight. I won't let you down. Things are getting dire. My duty is to the UNN and to the ship. But can I resist the call of the many? My father's weakness brought Shodan into existence. My weakness has invited these things aboard the Von Braun. Can I undo the wrong I have done? Diego is an interesting character. This seems broken. All of this destruction here, but you can actually just walk up to this door and it will open. This is Xerxes. Can you not feel the glory of the flesh? Do you not yearn to be free of the tyranny of the individual? Your song is not a me! That's okay. I'm just passing through. You need to be careful that this doesn't drag in that goddamn neck. Yeah, it has. We can outrun it. These guys would 
automatically break out after I walk through. They should. Marvelous choice. If I do see some ice up right away, sir. Where are we? Marvelous choice. Damn. If I do see some ice up right away, sir. Right away, sir. Right away, sir. Right away, sir. I hate these droids. They creep me out. They absolutely will come for us. Let's get out of here. Good luck. Alright, I think... I was going to say... These guys aren't too tenacious, the mechs. And there are areas that they can't come. He shouldn't be able to see me in here. This is what System Shock considers uh, complete darkness. How the hell did he get in here? Alright, we're going to have to be a little bit crafty. Which absolutely is possible. Got other problems. The cargo holds are a bit of a death trap. You need to be very careful. I think I should be able to hit it from here. Slightly off. There we go. Yeah, the side projectiles, they will go exactly to the perfect pixel where you're pointing. Which means that they will clip through corners like this. Now, let's have a look here. Lifts will also crush things, so if I can entice these guys underneath this lift, I can absolutely crush them. Absolutely. And I do want to do that with the big one, because he may have some nanites. I think he's moved on though. You would probably be right. I will come hunting you very soon, friend. Oh, hello. Let's see if we can entice the others. If there are others. I don't think there's any down here now. They've moved on. There will be some here, though. Come on, friend. Alright. We are relatively safe up here. Things don't respawn up here. Pretty sure. I've not seen them. At least not for the length of time we need to be here. Okay, we've got some nanites. Hello, friend. Ooh, just made it. Just made it. Yeah, it will draw attention, but these guys won't be able to reach us. Thankfully. Cyber modules, always handy. Are more of these things going to bust out? This is the question. I can't remember. That'd be a yes. Now you can stand here and deal damage to these um, containers. The biggest difference though is that when they explode, if you're nearby, you won't be protected. They will damage you. And these things won't bust out of them either. They only bust out of some things, not all. Okay, if I open this, these will start. There we go. Come on, here I am. Oh, it just wore off. It just wore off. Ouch. That hurt. That was unlucky. Okay, everything here is looking good. We found a key card which lets us go back through to... I think it's for Cargo Bay 2. Uh, yep, 2A, 2B. But 
this is the end of the episode. This is as far as we go. Thank you so much for watching. We will pick up next episode, heading all the way through Cargo Bay 1 and exploring all of that, and then up into Cargo Bay 2 and exploring all of that, because there are a lot of goodies here, including cyber modules that I really want to get my hands on. So that will be next episode. Until then, friends, thank you so much for watching, and until next episode. Yeah.